Welcome to Let's Get Stringing. Today, I'm going to uh, do a review on my recent uh, play test of the string RPM Blast 18 gauge uh, 1.20 millimeter. Um, and I just found out by looking at this package, it does show that the recommended tension is uh, 48 pounds. And that's exactly uh, where I strung it at. So I did a um, few sessions of play, uh, match play uh, versus four different players. I strung up the racket on uh, sept uh, September 19th and today is the last day of September. So we're looking at about 11, uh, 11 days worth of time. Uh, so I'll go over uh, my experiences on it. Stay tuned. Hello. So I just figured I wanna uh, do a re review on the RPM Blast 18 gauge before I cut it out of my uh, Radical MP Ox Ox Oxetic 2023 version. I play with a dampener. Uh, the grip size on this racket is a size three. That's four and uh, three eighths. Uh, I have the original base grip plus a uh, no name over grip on it. And it's, it's modded up. I mean, the way that uh, string perform has a lot to do with what racket it goes on uh, and vice versa. It's a complement of two, you know, the two, two components, you know, one cannot do without the other. So I will list my uh, full uh, spec of this racket in detail here and uh, I'll go over what I think of the string now. Basically, uh, I strung it up at 18 gauge, I mean, uh, 18 gauge, 1.2 millimeter. I strung it up at the 48 pound tension as recommended. And um, I played four different matches uh, in the last couple of weeks. Um, the first match was against a 4.0 topspin player. Uh, he's a, a guy in his around around the 30s, you know, give or take range. Aggressive baseliner has big big swings off both wings, big topspin forehand, and a sh very sharp uh, one one handed backhand. You know, he could paint the lines, hits hits the spots. You know, hit winners from both sides, cross court, in, inside out. You know, out, outside in, uh, you name it. He, and um, my just to tell you, my, my level is about a, a mid three five to top three five, and um, so playing against him, it's it's always a bit of a struggle. But I enjoy the, the challenge playing with uh, somebody much younger, and the best results I can I can get from him from a, a set would be like maybe three or four games. I consider myself pretty lucky, and but that's that's like one in eight attempts or one in, one in ten attempts. I mean, we, we play mostly at, at least one or one or two times a week, and um, most of the times I could only get like one game per set from him. I mean, sometimes he he bagel me. Uh, most times he he give me um, uh, pretzels. You know, I, I get one 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 game from him out of a set. If I can get two sets, I'm you know consider myself pretty lucky. Um, so that that's the fir first time I played him. You know, freshly strong RPM blast. Uh, you fr first time using the string. I mean, it, the string bed was feeling very refreshing. I like the response coming from it. it. It did not feel stiff at all from how I remember uh, the stiff, how stiff the RPM Blast could be, especially with thicker gauges. Uh, with the 18 gauge, uh, I feel that the string bed was pretty lively, but not too lively. And um, I was uh, getting uh, power and spin, you know, not, not very easily, but as long as I have the proper uh, stroke mechanics, it was delivering what I was looking for. And especially counter punching or Deflecting the power back from this 4.0, you know, player, uh, it was it was getting the job done. I, f I feel like uh, it was exceeding the usual performance that, that I usually get with my go-to hybrid G. If you look at the uh, specs on Tennis Warehouse, uh, it seems to indicate that the RPM Blast 18 gauge is uh, softer in stiffness compared to the hybrid G 17 gauge. Um, but my uh, experience with it is. Uh, not the case. I felt that the RPM Blast 18 gauge was uh, more crisp and less mushy compared to the uh, Hyper G 17. And uh, that is definitely an advantage when it was first strong and I felt really good playing uh, against the 4.0 strong aggressive baseliner. Um, I felt like it might even uh, be able to edge over the Hyper G a little bit being that the string is, is uh, multiple sided. I don't know if it's got six sides or eight sides to it. They usually have the cross section here. They have the cross section on this box here. So it has many sides. So it's pretty easy to pocket the ball, you know, grab it and, and be able to grip the ball and um, create spin as long as you have the, the proper strokes. So I was pretty happy with it. And uh, at, after, I mean, after, after that uh, set, 
I was fully convinced that uh, I would continue to use this string. However, uh, by the next day, I played this 3.0 or maybe a low 3.0 uh, oh, over 50 person. I mean, I've played a guy for over 10, 15 years. Uh, he's what I would call a uh, pusher type or uh, push pusher type baseline player. I mean, no offense. I'm even I'm I'm sort of a could be considered a pusher com compared to uh, some of the uh, more aggressive players. So it's all relative. Um, he's more of a pusher compared with me. Playing with him in the wind, I my opinion on the, on the RPM blast turned totally turned upside down, 360 degrees. I could not get no power out out of my strokes. Uh, my my balls were landing short. You know, I, I could not hit the shots to the spots I needed. Could not generate the spin. It, I mean, it was a little bit windy. It was over, over um, 10 miles per hour wind, to be fair. But so <clears throat> that leads me to think that uh, this string is better suited for higher level player, or better suited for somebody who plays against higher level players who are routine, who can routinely send you shots with pace pace in which you can deflect back with equal amount if not more pace and spin the string is very good at doing that however if your opponent if your opponent is like this more of a pusher type who is not sending you much much pace or speed then in order for you to win points or create winners yourself you have to generate the power yourself you know i kind of lack power I'm, I'm sort of a somebody somebody who wins points from grinding players down um, somebody at my level I can't routinely create winners when when the opportunity presents itself for example like make court shots you know for somebody who's 4.0 and above they they should be able to eat it up like cake if, if they get a, a slow sitter that's you know sitting up high mid court they usually slap it away but for me I can only count on hitting winners from that position maybe 50% of the time. So um, I would have to say that against somebody who does not give you pace, then this string does, doesn't do that good because it, it does not generate power on its own um, I'm, with somebody I'm, at my level. But it does wonders um, reflecting or deflecting pace off of, some, off of uh, strong hitters. Uh, maybe that's why so many higher end players, even players in the uh, playing on a, on a pro level, still uses uh, the RPM blasting one form or another, either in a full bed or um, in a in a form of a hybrid setup. Now uh, that leads us to the third opponent that I play against. He is once again an over 50 player. However, uh, I would rate him as a uh, 4.0, at least a low 4.0 hitter. But his style is very unique he i i had good chances closing out the first set playing him i was up uh i got i'm not i don't can't remember if i got <coughs> four games from him or five i was leading but i could not close it out and so he took the first set and then ever since then he just started cracking i mean ripping i mean i my game just faltered he he started uh ripping flat shots his style is very different from mine he's a bit taller than me he hits he could generate flat shots that, that are low as winners so that gave me a lot of problems so the, the second set ended up to be like 6-1 and then um we also played an, an additional seven point tiebreaker he also won that so uh he beat me fair and square um so judging from that experience this string did not help me in that department matter of fact i can't remember how the string felt because my memory uh, during that match was just about you know trying to defend and trying to come back and the bottom line is this string did, did not step up to be able to help me come back or or make a memorable difference at all there so brings me to the last match that i played against a uh, just yesterday against a another over 50 person uh this guy i will rate him as a low three five uh, we play on a weekly basis he's uh you know doesn't move that well but he's uh an ex soccer player has somewhat of a problem on his knee uh he uses a synthetic gut I, I usually beat him hands down um he could get maybe at most three or four games from me uh last night i remember a lot he was up like four or five games up in the first set 
he couldn't close it out and I ended up flipping. I ended up uh, coming back and took the first set from him. And the uh, same thing, uh, second set I won easily. So what I got out of the string yes yesterday from that match was that uh, it did okay. It did okay. I didn't hate it as much as 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 uh, when I was playing the the last pusher. However, I didn't like it nearly as much as when the stream bed was was brand new. Um, I think I only don't dislike it because of the fact that I, I won the two sets. Um, from what I can say say from it was that it it's still playable, but it's not nearly as good as when it was first strong. I mean, at this point, I've already used uh, I've already used about five to seven hours on it already, and um, it was usable to the point where if I put in the effort, you know, swing very hard, it still delivers, it still can generate you know, acceptable power. Um, and if I really try to generate top spin, it still gives me uh, enough top spin. Um, however, it takes a lot of effort. And so if you're maybe not in your top physical condition uh, or have injuries, uh, I don't, Think this string, I would, I would not recommend using this string, um, especially when after five or seven hours, it's no longer lively. It's not completely dead yet. Matter of fact, I just last measured its string tension. Strung at 48, it's still measuring around 50, believe it or not, from the Turner uh, spring dial tension meter. So, tension maintenance wise, it's pretty good. It, it didn't drop in tension, um, but the power and spin wise you know it's it's lacking in, in my department uh, as far as i'm concerned so after this experience uh, i would i would grade the string uh, in terms of spin power control and feel um in the spin department i would from one out of s 10 scale i would give it a seven for spin and for power i would give it a six for control I would give it an eight, and for feel, I would give it a seven and a half. Um, I wanted to give it an eight, but I just can't, and it's not as bad as seven, so I give it a seven and a half. Um, however, you have to consider the fact that uh, these these ratings uh, are obviously much higher when it was first strong when I played the first first match. I, I loved it. I thought I was gonna continue to use it, and and this will be my go-to stream from now on. So those those ratings just varies. Uh, in the beginning, it's it's as high as like it could be as high as eight or nine, but after using it for five to seven hours, you know, those are the average ratings that I give it. So uh, it's not a bad string, but it takes somebody who's in top shape, somebody who is at, at least a um, for I will just to be honest. Um, somebody who has to be a 4.0 or 4.5 player to probably get the proper use out of this the string. It has very good control. I give the control department, I give it an eight. Uh, but, um, you know, in order to do well on the string, um, it's not for everybody. And I definitely wouldn't recommend thicker gauges for somebody who has uh, tennis elbows. I mean, I wouldn't even use 17 gauge, I mean, 16 gauge, forget it. That, that's why I don't know how it's, this person, uh, he has his name on it. He just gave me this pack of RPM uh, rough to string at 57 pounds. Uh, and to his credit, he's, he has a Wilson Clash, so maybe it's a good pairing at that tension. Uh, with the, on the Clash racket, the RA is only 55, so it, a stiff string um, on that racket might not perform too bad because most of this, the vibration, everything can be soaked up or absorbed by that uh, soft uh, string bed. Matter of fact, I still haven't strung it yet. I just cut out his old strings. So uh, th those are my personal experience on the RPM Blast 18 gauge. Uh, your mileage may vary just like uh, any reviews. So I wanna thank you very much for watching and I look forward to uh, doing another one of these. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.